known as PRF function, that is positive real function. So let's have a look how to solve this kind of sum. When you talk about PRF, guys, uh, the first thing should come to your mind. There are three steps to solve it. Step number one, to plot whole genes. Step two, to check whether to carry the residue test or not. Step three, find the value of A of omega. Three steps. First, check or find the whole genes. Second, whether to find out or carry residue test or not. Step three, my dear friends, find A of omega square. These three steps need to be followed. Let's have a look, guys. Step one. I need to find the pole zero plot. For finding the pole zero plot, I need the value for S. From numerator, by using a scientific calculator, find the factors. This the value which you get from numerators, that is nothing but your zeros you can plot by yourself. Let's go for denominator. For denominator, this equation you have achieved from your question. Find the factors by using a scientific calculator, find the value for S. The value that you get, my dear friends, this value is nothing but your pole. The pole you plot by your cross. So let's plot the values. The value which you have over here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, standard, etc. Negative, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. So if I consider with pole, I have two poles at minus 1 and minus 2. So at minus 1 will be cross, minus 2 will be cross. If I consider my zeros at minus 1, there is a circle, 0 at minus 5, there is again a zero. That is your plotting of pole 0 on S. That was your step number 1. I hope it's very simple. Let's go for step 2, my dear friends. For step 2, guys, I need to check if there is any pole that means cross. On your my axis, that means your y axis. Since the whole S plane doesn't have any pole on your my axis, so not required. Residue is nothing but my dear friends, just need to apply partial difference. So I will take one more example of the RF in which where we need to apply a residue test. So your concept will become much clearer. So in this case, there was no pole on your my axis. So no residue test required. Step three. Step three, I need to find E of omega square. For that, the numerator should be divided into even and odd. So for numerator, I have to as m1, 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 m1 and n1. For denominator, m2, n. For denominator, again I have to split into even and odd function. The formula for E of omega square is even, even, minus, odd, odd. Even, even, minus, odd, odd. The condition state, wherever you get S, you have to term as S. S equal to 0 m1 m2 n1 n2 simplify wherever you got s you have written c of omega simplified j square is nothing but minus what's the value of j square simplified you get this equation like this so how to prove this step number three for step number three a of omega square is positive for all the value of omega which is equal to or greater than zero that's the condition for step three so after getting all the satisfied conditions for step one, step two, step three, so you can state that the function is that. Now you'll have your mind how to consider. Your step one is if you get any pole zero on your RHS side of your screen, then it is not a pole. What about step three? Step three, A of omega square, if it is not positive for any value of omega greater than equal to zero, then your step three is not a pole. So this is the way you should check your system as PRF or not. Step 2 is only applicable only when, when you have a pole on C omega. That's the one. So let's have a look guys for a one more sum of PRF in which we'll be doing residue function as well. So residue function is only applicable when we get pole on C omega. So let's go for type 6. Your PRF concept will be more clearer guys. So thank you so much guys signing off.